Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leathercraft, and we are making a clean, tight, but simple leather knife sheath. Now, chapter three, my favorite, we get to decorate this. We can certainly go without decoration, and this sheath will be gorgeous nonetheless. But think about this. We could drop in a die, or maybe even an antique on that, that's going to match our knife handle. We could even go as far as dropping in an acrylic paint, or initials, or letter stamps. Sky literally is the limit. But we're going to keep it simple, all right? So anything I use in this video, weaverleathercraft.com, or check below. We've got links there. I'm going to take you straight to our website. So let's step over here and drop in a gorgeous design. Now, I've done a couple of things here to save us a little time. First off, I've cased my leather, which is simply adding water. Five, maybe four passes until I get this very consistent chestnut look. Now, all manner of opinion on casing our leather. The top end pros will totally submerge their leather, let it sit for a few minutes, and then they'll put it in a baggie and let that sit for 24 hours. Now, I know I don't have that skill level or, or that manner of patience, but in my opinion, I want a nice wet top grain but to me, if I've got dryness across my back, I feel like I can get a more consistent stamp. I don't want mushy. I want clean and crisp, and we'll see that, okay? Second thing, I've taken another drawing of our face leather, or our face panel, and I've drawn in a line, three-eighths of an inch from each side, round in on both ends, because with a camouflage tool, it's hard to get that to look good in a square corner. So I've added round corners on that, and I've transferred that over to our pattern sheeting or plastic sheeting, making that very easy to trace. It's going to be tough on that on the uh, copy paper. So what I can do is, again, I've got it marked this side up and an arrow towards our throat. So I'm going to drop that right in there. Looks good. And then let's scribe a line around that. There we go. Okay, now, again, this is your, your opinion, your sheath, your call. But to me... I've got two samples here, okay? This is what we're going to do. There's our background and our camo. But notice I do not have a line around the edge. Right here, I do have that line. To me, this makes it look more like the design is of itself, where this, I can't really say that, not an artist. But to me, this looks like it's simply floating out there. I like that line. So therefore, we've scribed that in. Now, we're going to use a backgrounder. And this is simply... In fact, you know what? It's almost a stingray look, and I love it. It's easy to keep from over stamping, which means I don't want I don't want a discernible pattern in this. It needs to be abstract. So again, over stamping, no problem with this tool. Now with this, we've got three sizes. So we've got a pear-shaped shader for our smaller areas, smaller cuts. Then we've got a medium and a large, and it's super easy to use. But right here, since since we're simply doing a large panel. Let's go with our larger stamp. Now, I want to keep that, give or take, we don't have to be spot on, but I want to keep that about a quarter of an inch from my edge because our camo is going to take up about a quarter of an inch. Don't have to be spot on perfect there. Okay, so let's start right here. Nice, there we go. Now, I'm going to overlap that stamp just a little bit, again, to keep a pattern out of it. So let's work our way all the way around, and then I'll seal that up going down through the middle. And there we go. Very nice. That looks good. Can't see a pattern. That's exactly what I'm looking for. In fact, let's stamp a little bit there, a little bit there, maybe right there. Okay, looks good. Now, along the edge, not perfect. Don't have to be. Camo's going to take care of that for us. So I'm simply going to jump over to a camouflage tool. And I'm going to butt the two points right against the edge of my scribed line. There we go. Look at that. Clean and crisp. That's what I'm looking for. I can see every detail in the stamp head. So I'm going to work my way around about to right here because at that point we need to, we need to eyeball this and make sure we get a good spread or a good spacing. But you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, as we get around our corner there, let's do this. Let's just eyeball this. There's one, two, three, and four. That looks like it's going to fit perfectly. I may be just a hair short. So what I can do, instead of going straight into the corner there, I'm going to come out just a hair. We won't see that. Maybe just a hair there, so that when we get around to our point, there we go. Well, that looks very cool. 
clean, consistent, and tight. Just what we're looking for. All right, so our design has been stamped in. Chapter four, follow me there. We're gonna set up to do our hand sewing. 